Hi, it's Chandler with Classic Care Services, and I'm sharing my commercial setup for a high rise. Um, although I'm a fine fabric specialist, and 90% of my work is in residential, but when I do commercials, about 10% of my portfolio um, I, it's typically a high end commercial. Um, this particular commercial uh, account um, is my second time visiting here, and I'm cleaning some rugs today and some spot cleaning on some upholstery. And all of it's natural fiber. And this, um, this particular customer, all of the fabrics are natural. And so their rugs, their upholstery, even some of the fabric on the wall. And this is one of the rugs that I'll be cleaning today. Um, as you can see, this is permanently installed. Um, it's on a, pa a plastic pad and it's glued uh, some type of adhesive um, on the floor. But it's not on the wood floor. It's like this has been cut out specifically for the size rug. And this is a 100% wool rug. Um, so obviously we can't take it into the shop to clean it, so we have to clean it on site. Um, this is a pretty thick fiber rug. Um, um, low pile shag type rug so I'm able to I am able to run my CRB over it and I'm going to extract it and I'm going to go ahead and set up for it right now and here I um, got my setup that's my carpet bag that has all the accessories I need for spotting on any of the accessories that I may need. That's an extra vacuum bag. Just in case my bag gets full up here while I'm vacuuming the rugs. Uh, I got some shoe covers, you know, furniture tabs. Got some huggies for the walls if I need it. Some extra towels. Um, there's some peroxide spotters um, that I keep in the dark there, just in case I need them. Um, that is a soap dispenser. So those are just real specialty spotting um, accessories that I have there. So I got the tarp down. I got all the accessories that I may need. I got my flat mop to clean up behind myself. My multi-sprayer, my upholstery bag there. Uh, my cleaning agents in that milk crate. Uh, my bucket. Um, I'm using carpet detail, all green cleaner here. Uh, so I won't leave any residue on the rug. Um, that's my vacuum cleaner. Uh, it's a CRB with the trays on it, and my I got a groomer there, and my wand. So I'm going to vacuum it with the dry soil. I will CRB over it. I will extract it, and then I will groom it. My lunch bag for a long job like this, and this is the results after extraction. So now I'm going to go ahead and groom it. Okay, so I've moved downstairs to clean this round wool rug here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my setup and then I'll start the cleaning process. So my setup is complete and I'm ready to start the cleaning process. Now this is a round wool rug, so you have to do the formula to get the circumference of a circle. And that's gonna be pi times di diameter or pi radius squared just to let you guys know if you want to figure out how to get the square footage of a circle. Um, these chairs, I'm going to do some spot cleaning in about three or four of them um, once I check and reconfirm the spots that I went through with the customer. Uh, this is after I vacuumed and agitated it. Um, also applied the uh, preconditioner. And this is after the agitation, so it's, it looks pretty good already. So I'm gonna do the extraction process. And this shows the after extraction. So it looks very wet. it looks very, very good. I'm really happy with it. And these are the before and after. So after everything is complete, I'm back down here in the garage, getting ready to load up Godzilla. And um, 
a very successful job, went well. Um, these type of commercial jobs I, I truly do enjoy. Not my ideal customer, but they're pretty close. So I, I will do them. If it only takes up 10% of my portfolio, or 15%, maybe even 20%, I'll do them. But um, just want to share this with you guys. So I'm all locked and loaded and ready to roll out. Thanks for viewing.